Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have seen what is recursion and what are recursive function. Right? How to create a recursive function, how to use recursion to solve a problem. Right? So based on that we will, we will be discussing one coding exercise in this video. And what you have to do is, you have to write down a program to find sum of digits of a given number using recursion. Right? For example, if input is given something like this, if input is 432. Then output should be 4 plus 3 plus 2 that is 9. If input is suppose something like this 7, 1, 2. This is input. So output should be 7 plus 1 plus 2 that is 10. Right? Sum of digits of a given number. You got it? Now what you have to do? Now please what is that right approach to solve a problem? Now take a paper and pen and Think, what should be the logic? Don't just directly jump to your laptop and just in this uh, Visual Studio code and start writing code, no. You have to think first of all on paper, right? Think how to, suppose this number is given, then how you will find out different different digits of this number, like two, then three, then four, and how you will, you know, going to add these individual digits, right? So pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this. See, if number is, let's take number is four, three, two. How we will find out the individual digits? So we know uh, one uh, operator is there, modulo operator, right? So if I divide this number, like 4, 3, 2, mod n, this mod operator will give remainder. So the remainder of this is 2, you got it? So this will give me 2. Like maybe I can store this number somewhere, right? Then. After that, after that, in 4, 3, 2, I want now 3, na? right? So after that, if I divide 43, if I do something like this, mode 10, then it will give me 3. After that, just 4, mode 10. So obviously, it's not divisible, so remainder would be 4. So now I got these three individual digits and I can just add these things, right? So, okay, one operator we will use mode operator. But after this 4, 3, 2, how you will get 43? Because the number is 432, na? But after getting 2, I want the number should be 43 only. And after that number should be 4 only. Right? This is how this is possible. So just think. We can apply one more operator that is divide operator. So if I do something like this. 432 divide by 10. Then it will give me 43. See this is mod modulo operator and this is divide operator. Divide by. Right? So divide by 10. So it will like 43.2. But if I take int only obviously then. 43 only I will get, right? And after that 43 divided by 10, it would be 4.3 and integer is 4, so we will take only 4, like this. So these two operators you need to use, right? I hope now you got something about like this sol solution of this problem. Divide operator, then apply modulo. Divide, then apply modulo and just add these numbers. That's it. This you have to do. So if you haven't done this yet, pause the video now and try this out. Try to, you know, write down this one a piece of paper, right? Write on that and then on your laptop. Fine. So I hope you have done this. Let's try this out. I just want to print like C out. Let's have a function name, sum of digits and 4, 3, 2, I just want to pass. And it should give me whatever the answer is, right? So, okay, we are calling here. So let's define this function of this thing is main. So int so name is same as it is parameter one I am passing so int num I am going to take right now you have to apply mode operator and divide operator right and using recursion you have to do recursion you have to do this thing right so what basically here we are doing is what it should return return whatever the number four three two mode 10. 4, 3, 2 more 10 will get 2. 2 plus, we are going to add 2 plus, the, the, now the number is 43. 43 more 10 will get 3. And plus, now that after applying division operator, the number is 4 and simply will get 4. So num mode uh, 10 plus. Now we want number should be only 43. And how you will get 43? You have to divide that number by 10. Simple. 
So again call this function sum of digit and what you will pass here num divided by 10. That's it. I hope you got it. This is the simple logic. This is, see the beauty of recursion. If you use iterative approach that is also not very tough like simply one while loop and two to three lines and that's it. But you can try out that iterative approach as well to find out some of digits. But here one important thing is what is the base case. Now you have to write down the base case when to stop. Right. So base case is if after divide by 10 number becomes 43 again divide by 10 number becomes 4 again divide by 10 number and then it becomes that uh, 4 divided by 10 it becomes 0. So once you reach to 0 stop right so if number equal to equal to 0 simply return 0 that's it let's run this and see what output you are getting see for 9 you are getting here right 9 okay let's change this uh, if the number is uh, 4 3 2 1 so obviously it should give 10 so let's run this and see see 10 right i hope you got this if you haven't got this uh, then please pause the video drive in this and try this out and let me just try in this for you if you want to continue watching you can just you know continue watching this video otherwise you can stop so see what is happening here at first control will be here like we'll go to this main and here we have see out some of digits like uh, function call so at first like in this stack we have one activation record for main right and here we are simply calling this function sum of digits sod i am simply writing and here we have four three two one right so we are calling this so for this 4, 3, 2, 1, we have an activation record, control will go to here, int num. So here we have, here we have num, num is 4, 3, 2. Let's consider it only till 2, right, not to 1, because it's going to take more time. Huh? So here we have num is 4, 3, 2, right, this condition true, no. Now return num mode 10, num mode 10. 4, 3, 2, mode 10. It will give you 2. So, it will return what? 2 plus sum of digits. Again, the, this function call SOD. Num divided by 10. So, rather than this 4, 3, 2 divided by 10 means it will give 43. So, here 43. Now, 43 would be passed. So, this next activation record SOD. This would be for 43. So, here we have num 43. This condition true? No. Again, num mode 10. So, num mode 10, it will give you 3 plus <coughs> SOD, we are calling SOD 43, sum of digit 43 divided by 10, it will give you 4. So, here we have 4. So, next activation record SOD, here number is 4. So, we have 1 here num is equal to 4. So, what it will return? Is this condition true? No, it will return num mode 10. 4 mode 10, remainder is what? 4 only. Right? Mode will give you remainder. Remember this thing. So, remainder is 4 plus SOD num 4 divided by 10. It will 0. Divide by 10 is 0 because it not, we are not able to divide this. So, 0. So, next activation record is for SOD 0. So, here we have number is equal to 0. Now, see the condition. Base case condition. Num equal to equal to 0. Yes. Stop return 0. So, this from here, from here, it will return, this function will, will return 0. From where it will return? Here we are calling this. So, here it will return 0. It will return 0. And after returning, sorry, after returning, just this activation record would be cleaned. Right? It would be popped out. I mean, popped out from the step. Now, 4 plus 0. Where this would be returned? This function. We are calling this function from where? From here. So, 4 plus 0 is 4. So, it will return 4 here. It will return 4 here. Right. And after that, obviously, this would be popped out. I mean, this is out from the stack. Now, SOD, this, this is 4. This is 4. The value of this is now. 4 plus 3 is 7. Where it will return? Here. Because here I am calling this 43. So, it is 7. And after this it will be popped out means this is out of the stack 7 plus 2 is 9 so it will return this thing here so here it is 9 and this will be popped out means out of the stack 
Now 9 will simply print C out, sum of digit that and it will print 9 and this main is also opposed to it. Now our stack is empty, there is nothing in our stack, right? So all the memory, all the memory for local variables are freed now. And the value is, the output is 9. I hope you got this, how you are getting this 9, right? So now one, if you got this, now one question for you is, one assignment for you is, you have to write down a program to find out sum of n natural number. So if the input, input is how many natural number, right? So we'll ask from the user, suppose I, I enter 10. So you have to find out sum till 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 10. If I ask sum for 15 natural number, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to, up to, up to 15. This you need to give using recursion, right? You got it now? Now, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see even more coding exercise on recursion. So now I'll see you in the next video. Then bye. Take care.